It's me again, your girl Miss Tintin, um, and we're continuing with our discussions on this platform about uh, things that I do in my life or I have done in my life, which I hope people can learn from. I started modeling back when I was like 16 without my father's approval. I was such a hoo-ha. But I was Miss Mutare in um, 1997. I went ahead to do the Miss Zimbabwe pageant and I was the finest. I was in the top five at the Miss Zimbabwe pageant in 97, but I was so young, hey? I was like 16, 20, 17. And then I went ahead uh, to go to university. I did college in, um, in California, in the States. And I did pursue some modeling back then. I came back home, did one or two things, and then just, I think, the passion of actually being on stage as a model just sort of dwindled. Um, instead, now, I do have my own private uh, modeling agency. I focus a lot. It's called Impeccable, Impeccable Models talent and casting agency, but I focus a lot on children. Um, children have got such amazing talent. And if you're going to be serious about modeling and the, 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 the modeling industry, whether you want to become a beauty pageant uh, uh, queen, a beauty queen, uh, or you want to do commercial modeling, which is on the ramp and fashion week and all that stuff. Uh, they're two different things, eh, by the way, which I train as well um, at my agency. You have to start as a career choice. If you're going to be a beauty queen, like, you know, when we see overseas, I Miss America, I Miss Venezuela, it's not because a failure or or it's a hobby that they like when they're 16, 17, 18 at high school and they win Miss so-and-so at their school and they decide I'm going to now do um, Miss Harare and then to Miss Zimbabwe. No, they actually take it as a career choice. They start modeling because Pageantry is a big business, a big business that you need experience, a big business that you have to build a portfolio for you to then become Miss World. I don't wait or wake up and decide when I enter Miss Zarari and I enter Miss Zimbabwe and I go Miss World and I go in Hey, if that happens, the gods are in your favor. But a lot of work is put into the grooming and the training of somebody when they become um, a, a beauty queen. So that's what I do in my agency, Impeccable. To Notanga, we start them young. But my ultimate goal is to inevi inevitably run my own school of cosmetology. A really proper institute like the one I went to learn at in California that services the, the, the girl child particularly that uplifts the girl child in Zimbabwe, but with technique that is international, that is of par excellence standard, and just lifts the entire industry. You know, cosmetology is a multi-billion dollar making industry. I'm not talking about just going to get your hair done as a hairdresser, or going to get your nails done from the manicurist, you know, or the nail technician, or going to learning how to do body massage and then doing body masseuse, no. I'm saying that the industry is so broad, it's not just about the physical, the, the hands-on practical. You can go into manufacturing of cosmetics, which I am doing, stand by for that. You can go into training and teaching, which I also do in, in my school, Impeccable Nails. I hold private classes for um, nail classes, a very intense class. I do one-on-one, -on -one and you become a professional nail technician. A lot of my students then end up kuma, um, ships you know like you can go to dubai we have links with dubai we have links with um in the uk we have just established re-established links again in the U in the u.s where i train you here and you can go and get yourself a fantastic phenomenal job um outside the country but only of course if you go through the correct training which i do so i get people asking me especially after the nail course so i'm thinking about doing this uh, course here, cosmetology. Which institute should I go to? What would be best for me to take? Should I take the whole thing? Number one, if you are considering um, getting into the cosmetology industry, firstly, I want to say it's a brilliant, brilliant choice. But it mustn't come as a second option. Cosmetology is an industry, is a business that comes out of human nature because it comes out of one of our five senses. If you're doing someone's hair, you are physically touching them. You're touching them. If you're doing their nails, you're physically touching them. You're doing the body massage, you're physically touching them. So, of all the senses, the sense of touch, which is where cosmetology plays a major role, is the strongest. So, when somebody says, 
to me, uh, I fail at O level or I fail at A level so that they're thinking about doing cosmetology. I'm like, I wonder, you know, she's going to go to hairdressing school. My heart breaks. Because number one, it's about passion. You've got to have the passion inside to just want people to feel and look good. Because what happens is if there's no passion behind it, it shows in the work that you do. There's nothing as bad as going to a hairdresser to do your hair as such. Which is why, I suppose, even for men, when you go to a barber, you always go back to the same guy. Because you create a personal relationship. Because it is such a personal thing because of the physical contact. Cosmetology is a creative. You keep creating things. If you're doing your makeup, it's a different color today. You do your eyebrows different. You change your hair. You put on this wig. You put on, you know, you cut it bald. And then tomorrow again, while glue and you've got a long, long extensions again. It's all creativity. And creativity is never stagnant. It's very dynamic. It keeps moving. So you must always keep updating yourself. And who doesn't want a person who's always updated in the world we're living in now? And that's the nice thing about the cosmetology industry is that you can always keep yourself updated. Why would you want to get into the industry? Number one, of all the things that I know in my life, remember I, I, I'm an actress, which means I've got to read in English, Shoshana, because those are the main languages I speak, uh, radio broadcasting English, Shoshana, it's very dictated sort of a thing. But cosmetology, it doesn't matter where I go in the world, I know I'll always be able to make a bit of money to put food on my table because I don't need to speak the language to make the money. You understand? I can leave here right now and decide to go do nails in Taiwan. All I've got to learn is how to say the amount of money. 50, whatever it is. If I go to China and I do 50 yuan, 100 yuan, all you need to know is how to say the money. The rest of it, you don't have to learn the language. So my point is that the nice thing about cosmetology and learning how to do the different facets of it, facets of it is that you can go anywhere in the world and sustain yourself and make money in a nice clean way that you don't feel you're being harassed or being coerced to do something. You use the talents that you have and the skills you have acquired to make the money that you need to earn. Secondly as well, I appreciate the fact that in cosmetology you create your own time. Yes, you may then get a job that goes into a hair salon um, and you, you, know, you have a boss and you have to make sure that you're there on time, whatever it is, but the flexibility on your time, especially like me now, I'm a full-time mom, but I'm still a practicing cosmetologist. I still go ahead and teach. I still occasionally do um, personal nails for people, but very rarely, I, I'm sticking more to teaching now. But because it's my own schedule, my own time, should I decide to pop into uh, one of my friend's salons and do someone's hair for a bridal party, which I always get requests for, updos for hair, um, and, and nail art on their nails, especially for weddings, I'm very popular with that. Um, it's my time. So I did not appreciate it. I've got to be at work at 7. Then I've got to leave at this time. It's my appointment. So can I client to younger time to China 11? I will get there an hour in advance and prepare, or half an hour in advance and prepare. If, I just, if there are no clients and I don't do walk-ins and it's appointment only, then I know that by 3 o'clock I'm going to go, I'm going to check it out, you know what I mean? So, nice thing about cosmetology is that you can have your own time and make your own schedule. Next benefit when it comes to cosmetology is that it gives you a great platform to be an entrepreneur. It gives you a great platform for you to start your own business. It's not about big money, guys. The nice thing with cosmetology, you know what, when I teach, I I don't have a fancy place. Very basic. I just went to get some and I got some table in my chair. I was suitable for me training. Bought simple stuff. I use very simple technique to teach. You know, I don't have fancy expensive things, but I get them. I get the work done, and my students leave happy with their certificates. And if they want to go and buy high-tech expensive stuff for their salons and all that, happy days. But then my job will be done. So nice thing about it, you can be an entrepreneur. You can also decide, like I said, in cosmetology, it's more than just doing the actual job. You can then invest in making of products. So many people are making products. My Vaseline, my shampoo, my body wash, my chi chi That's all under cosmetology. It's just a different version of it or a different facet of it, which you can do and become your little businesswoman. I know, shout out to my cousin, Ms. V. Wongi, and her line, Crystalline. We're coming out with Vaseline and baby products uh, that my baby is a brand ambassador of, uh, my baby, Alex Mopi. Um, but already now we're making Vaseline, in, 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 in baby Vaseline, petroleum jelly. That's what I'm supposed to say. We're making petroleum jelly um, in, in, in the garage. And we've got our orders 
a business culture tanga, and I think that's important. Next thing, uh, why you would want to get into cosmetology is the fact that it's fun. I don't think there's ever a hairstylist or a nail technician or a body masseuse that is going to go to work and unless in my personal issues and say kubasa kuno boa no not possible if you're doing it with passion and you've been trained right and you have your clientele set and you're pushing your business it's fun every single day you can have the music playing you can have you know things happening people in and out a salon is a nice place you know it's like the barber shop i always see guys the best stories come out of the salon and the worst gossip also comes out of the salon. But my point here is that it's fun. It's a fun environment to work in. So if you want to get into it, get into an environment that you enjoy and that would be cosmetology. Another point with cosmetology, which is probably my one of my favorite, and because maybe because I'm a creative, of course, being in the arts industry, is you don't have to work in an office. I hate being in an office. I hate being in a cubicle. I hate being in a building. I hate that. And the nice thing with being a cosmetologist is that I don't have to work in an office. I can work at my house. I can come to your house. I can go to your office. You can come to my house, or my, which is with my office. The point is, at least you're not confined to the traditional, I get up, I get dressed formally, I've got to go to work. I can dress how I want. Cosmetology allows you to also just every day you express who you are. And that's what life's about. Every day you're giving the best of who you are. The added values and added advantages that you can put onto who you are. And then lastly, entry into the market. A lot of people who then start different careers, even acting, it's not always easy to come out and be a hit straight away. You know, that you either have to be really brilliant at what you do or a really good break in a good role that you get and you execute it. But otherwise, it can take someone a good five, eight, sometimes even ten years before they break a role and get a role that then gets them established. But my point is, in cosmetology, you don't need to take that long. It doesn't take that long for you to penetrate the market. So. Should you want to get into it, I am here on my platforms. Um, you can get me on um, Instagram, that is tintin263 underscore my underscore yambuko, because I am my yambuko and my Alex, but I'm my yambuko firstly. Um, and you can get me on Facebook, that is tinopona tintin katsande, um, and ask any questions. If you want guidelines in Zimbabwe of where you want to go to attend, um, Cosmetology school, you can either get local certificates, you can get international certificates, but let me tell you that once you choose cosmetology, the world is your oyster.